So you have just been sent a text and or an email with a load from your dispatcher through Super Dispatch. They received this load from one of the many brokers or dealers who uses our load board and transportation management system. I'm going to show you how to create your free account on the mobile app, then use the mobile app to inspect the vehicles and load, mark them picked up, inspect them again at delivery, and then mark them delivered and invoice the customer. First, open the text or email. I'm using Google Voice as my texting service, so I'll open it and show you what the load offer looks like. So there's a hyperlink here that says your company has added you as a driver via Super Dispatch. Click that link. Your phone might ask you to open this in a web browser. I use Safari web browser, so I'll click open for Safari and allows me to open and read the offer using the Safari web browser. Here you see your username highlighted in yellow up top. That's the email that your dispatcher created your account with. This is your username and login. He did not set your password for you, so you have to create a password in the field labeled password. Make sure you can remember it or write it down. Then click the big blue confirmation button, confirm button. The next page is labeled Super Dispatch, BOL app, ePod, or electronic proof of delivery. You must click open to give your phone permission to either go to the app store and download the Super Dispatch app or to open the Super Dispatch app if you've already downloaded it. I haven't downloaded it, so it took me to the app store. I click this little cloud button, which may say download on your screen. That downloads the app to your phone. On, once you have downloaded it, that button will say open. Click it when it does say open. A few pages and dialog boxes are going to pop up really quick. This first one is about notifications. You should definitely allow Super Dispatch to send you notifications for now. You can always undo it later. Right now, we have something called a practice load for drivers who download the app to practice using the app before they have a real vehicle. You do have a real vehicle, so I'll just exit out of these prompts. I have to click open the load, then click the X button in the top left-hand corner. This is the home screen of your mobile app, and it's known as the loads screen, which you can see at the bottom of these tabs here. It's like a little filing cabinet for all the BOLs you have to fill out today. At the top, you see three tabs, active, delivered, and archived. You are in active loads, which contains your new and picked up loads. See how your load is blue and says new? That means it's an active load. Click the box to open it. This opens the load details page. This is all the information about the load, like the vehicle, the pickup info, the delivery info, attachments, expenses, instructions. Since this came as a load offer, all this information is already filled out for you. You can click start inspection to open the camera on your phone and begin taking photos or click scan VIN to scan the vehicle identification number using our phone scanner camera to verify that it is indeed the correct vehicle. I'm just going to click start inspection. Another dialog box opens up here. If you need to take photos for this inspection, you're, you're going to need to allow Super Dispatch to have access to your camera. Super Dispatch will only have access to the camera when you do photo inspections or VIN scanning. Click the OK button. Now your phone is horizontal instead of vertical, and there's an outline of a drawing of a vehicle over the screen. This is a recommendation for how to position the camera over the car when you take photos of it. And when you position the camera, click the big blue button to take a photo. And another dialog box pops up. We're asking for your location information so that these photos can be time, date, and location stamped. And this is really for your benefit and for the brokers. No false damage claims are gonna happen if you can prove a damage was already there at the delivery location at the right time. So you should click allow. Now that I've taken a photo, the app is telling me how to mark a damage using this little button that looks like a car with an explosion on it. Click next. And another thing has happened. You can see the thumbnail image here next to the BOL wireframe that was already there when you opened the camera. Right now, you can either keep taking photos or start marking damages photo by photo. I'm going to take another photo. There are only two recommended shots for a standard inspection plus the BOL, which you can see here. Advanced inspections require six photos, but I'll put that in another video if you want to see it. Anyway, now that, we have, now that I've taken two photos, I'll start marking damages. I click the Mark Damages button and it automatically selects the first photo I took. Now the still image is large here and you can see a scroll on the left side with damaged marks. So let's say I see some scratches, and there are a lot. Someone didn't take care of this car. Anyway, I press the circle that says multiple MS for multiple scratches, and you, I see the app is doing my job for me again. Now it's highlighted, which means that I can click anywhere on the photo to mark those damages. This will be marked in yellow to indicate a damage at pickup. If you accidentally butterfinger on it and mark a damage where there's not one, no worries. You can just touch it on the top of the photo and a dialog box will tell you if you will ask you if you want to delete the damage code. And this can only be done prior to a customer signature. So be sure to be careful here. Because our damage codes are a solid color, some carriers choose to take a lot of photos, but only mark damages on the BOL. 
Okay, once you're done, click the done in the top right hand corner. That takes you to the interior inspection. This is also not required on a standard inspection except the odometer here. This is really, this page exists for advanced inspections, but the inf more information you fill out, the better you cover yourself from false damage claims. So leave out all information at your own risk. Once you've finished filling it out, click save in the top right hand corner. This takes you back to the load detail screen, and now you can see that where there used to be an empty car wireframe, there is now a photo and a green check mark over it. You are on the screen again in case you need to inspect more cars. You don't have any more cars, so click continue to pick up signature. This is where you hand your phone to another person and have them add their signature. If you are at an auction or a night drop off or something, a standard inspection will allow you to mark customer not available. Your screen is now going to turn into a signature box. The signature, the signator needs to write their name and then sign it and then click save in the top right hand corner. They can also review the inspection here. To add your own signature, click mark as picked up at the bottom of the screen and a dialog box will pop up telling you to go to your profile page or adding your driver's signature right now. Click OK and then draw your own signature and then press save. Finally, click mark as picked up a second time and you're done. Now you can click send BOL to send the BOL electronically or press done to be done with pickup. This will take you back to your load screen. Do you see that your load is no longer blue? It is yellow and it says picked up. Now you are done until delivery. So luckily the delivery inspection and process is identical to pickup, but you do need to do it again to officially mark it delivered. So click the box again to take you to the load details. It says edit inspection, just like when you were in the middle of pickup inspection, but you need to click the edit inspection button to do the delivery inspection. As you can see, when the camera pops up again, it doesn't have the pickup photos because you are at the delivery and this is a different BOL. So take the photos and mark the damages just like you did before. But this time, the damages will be in green to indicate a damage at delivery. But if you look at the BOL, you can still see the yellow damages from pickup. Here, I tried to click multiple scratches again and put the green MS over the yellow MS, but it doesn't let you do that because it knows that the damage was already there at pickup. Anyway, so finish this and then click done again. And once you're back to load details, click continue to delivery signature. As you can see, the signature needs to be filled out again, so find a person or mark them as not available. Your signature is already there from pickup, so just click Mark as Delivered at the bottom of the screen. At delivery, you have a couple of options. You can send BOL, send invoice, mark as paid, or archive your order. I always suggest to send the invoice because the BOL is attached to it, so let's do that. So this is the best part of using Super Dispatch. A broker can pay you days faster when you invoice immediately after delivery. The best thing for you too is that we create the invoice for you, so you barely have to click a button. So just click send invoice, and the only things on this invoice page that you need to worry about are invoice ID and payment method. Invoice ID is how you number your invoices. If you aren't sure, ask your dispatcher what to number it. Second is payment method. This is how you request to be paid. So it's up to you. We can't actually advise you on what to request. Now that you've filled out the invoice, click next in the top right hand corner. This will take you to the page where you enter the email, which will probably already be there. And now press send invoice via email and you're done. As you can see, the load has disappeared from active loads. If you look at the top here, you'll see that the delivered tab now has a number one next to it where it didn't before. And that's because your load is sitting in there. You can see it whenever you need, but it's not going to clutter up your screen anymore because you know you delivered it and have washed your hands of it. So that's it. Uh, just check out the next video to see how to use our awesome load board.